So this question would be coming in your mind also. I know the answer. Let's see. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Raghav Bhatia, your Illuminate, finally right now. And today we're diving deep into the topic that's been on my mind since I completed my MBA. And you guys bombarded my comment section with this. Was my MBA worth it? Am I jobless right now? Is recession killing all the jobs in the market right now? Should you choose MBA from this university or not? Are you feeling uncertain about the future market that is going to happen? And especially in the job market and recession, all the things that are happening right now. And you want to make your future recession proof? Let's reveal all of these questions in today's video. Before that, if you are new to my channel, do hit the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon so you cannot miss these kind of informative videos. Now let's rewind a bit and let me take you through my journey of UCW MBA. Picture this, countless hours of lectures, late night study sessions, assignments due in midnight after you came from your work and those unforgettable moments with fellow students. University Canada West was more than just an educational institution. It was a place where dreams were nurtured, ideas were ignited, and connections were forged. But the burning question remains, did my MBA truly live up to its promise? Now that is the question that I'll answer you for you guys. Now let's talk about value of MBA. Value of MBA. Sorry, I cannot place this board anywhere. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take it on my hand. Yeah. Now what defines an MBA's value, is it his grades, is it his certificates, or is it his skills, is it his uh, speaking skills, communication skills, how deliberately he announces or introduces himself to the employer. What is important for you to measure that success rate of an MBA? In my opinion, it doesn't need to come from a college, it doesn't need uh, to come from grades or from any kind of evaluation, but it surely does come from the person itself, skills. Any kind of skills, soft skills, potential. So in my opinion, a value of a degree is just like a piece of paper. It's just like a piece of paper. It means nothing more than that. Just a paper, just a permit which has given me the rights to work here for three years. Just that, not more than that. Let me tell you right now. Why I said this is just a piece of paper? Because it depends on the person who's pursuing this and who has the capabilities to do that. Many people have asked me, is UCW's MBA this, that, they, they are not reputed, they are just a private institution which has done this and that. I know, I accept all these things, you know, the, the campus isn't great, the faculty isn't great, the the environment isn't great because half the people are here for the PR. 20-30% people are here just for the elite class jobs and to get education in their field. But most of the students are just here to get the fucking permit. Mind my language, sorry for that. But people are here just to get their work permit done. That's, that's it. They are not uh, regarding the MBA that they used to talk about. They are not regarding the MBA that they did. They are just talking about the piece of paper that I just talk to you about so if you talk about like a real mba value i would disagree to that that you enter the institution yeah institution matters if it's like top three colleges canada let's say ubc university of toronto or the university of mcgill these kind of universities have a bigger impact but if you're coming at a private university and you're paying kind of a cheaper price you're getting the scholarships which was the case in my thing right i didn't complain about any of that because i was happy with the price that i'm paying and the skills or anything that I'm getting because I had the eagerness to learn what I wanted. I had the eagerness to talk in front of the camera, which I'm doing right now. I had that. So I can present myself to the employer, whereas the other person who is still complaining about the university would not. Let's talk about my experience from UCW. So if I talk about like my experience overall, I would like to say my experience was very good. I was doing good, all of these terms. But the thing is that COVID did really hit hard Canada and recession is still going on. So I can see right now, I'll tell you my situation right now. I just completed my MBA. It's been, I guess, a month since I applied for my work permit. And right now I'm on applied status. So the meaning is that I still didn't receive my work permit till now, but I'm still waiting for that. And still that time, I'm still applying for jobs that I can see. My primary industry is marketing because I'm into that only. But since the market is not good, I am thinking and I'm doing it right now also. I am giving interviews for other jobs like insurance industry, let's say HR, operations management, you know, these kind of things that I'm looking for. So I would recommend this to you to be flexible. 
how flexible if one industry collapse or is not doing good at the moment you can enter another especially in this ai generation right where ai is so so into every industry you should be very adaptive and dynamic as it and many people say that you're not getting any job is it the case that you're not getting any interviews also no it, it's not that like there is still hiring going on but the thing is that competition is really high maybe this thing will give you an idea how the job scenario is working jobs the number of jobs is this right and the graduates is this so you can see it is not meeting the demand is not meeting so this is what the situation is happening but it doesn't mean that i am not getting any you know interviews i'm still getting interviews i did interview for a lot of jobs you know but the thing is that i am not experienced if you talk about me i am not experienced in my field i did my graduation and i immediately did my masters i had corporate experience of 2 years but that is in aviation so it's like a different thing but right now since i want my career in marketing or sales i want to be in that but i don't have any experiences that except youtube and all this sort of thing that i've been doing now talking about the job market i'll give you a real life scenario of me searching on my laptop on the official government site that gives you the information about the labor market that is going on and the jobs that is available so let's dig into my laptop so as you can see i'm in the job market of canada that is the government site and i'm looking for my particular position which i am planning to do after my mba now that my mba is done i'm preparing for this position so i'm searching for marketing manager let's say i'm searching for marketing manager right uh, the doc code will be mentioned and it would ask for the location so i've entered obviously vancouver now it will try to search for that and it's currently showing me that 107 jobs is available in the province of bc and in the city of vancouver and if i go to job section it is showing me all the jobs that has been posted recently as you can see 28th august uh, agss imagination enterprises and all these company has posted the website uh, for the job you can also see the posting on different websites also so it gives you a really nice idea so as you can see for this position only 108 jobs has been posted so as you can see job market is not that bad but still it's kind of bad the medium wage is 48 bucks which is a good thing for this position i'd say and basically it's basic stuff and it gives you an overall idea how um, trends it shows and various things now let's talk about connections in your college slash university So for my experience I would say connections are your biggest asset if you're studying right now in UCW or you're planning to come here you know because when I was there I was not kind of active with my college life and I kind of had the regret of not being involved at maybe give my 100% right so due to that right now I may have limited connections and that is stopping me from a potential opportunity that I could grab with a referral right so if you are coming to university and or western any institution in Canada the networking is the biggest asset now people say how you are networking i'll make a separate video on networking networking how how you can do proper kind of networking in linkedin but for right now i can just say if you are sitting in a class you have your whole your classmates sitting with you now try to make conversation with them for me i was a very dynamic personality and i really had a big interest in introducing myself and talking to other people and getting to know what kind of concept they have you know and brainstorming of any topic given to us it really helped me to make a good amount of connection but not great amount of connection so you want to reach great amount of connection because at this stage if you are looking for an opportunity you want to have good connections recently i did an interview for a firm in which a friend referred me so you can see that it really helped me that i got the referral and i did the interview for that so do work on the networking classmates and the biggest networking that you can do with your professors i've seen in ucb many professors are associated with some smaller brands and they do offer you uh, work also like internships or co-op if you are interested and you can show your potential to your professors you know now let me come to the main thing that you guys was waiting for is ucb mba worth it and now and i know by worth it what you guys wondering the money thing is matching the output level so let me tell you in simple words you know UCW is just an institution that doesn't provide you any cash placements right now that is happening with me i graduated from them they didn't help me they didn't do any placements for me which they admitted it's it's not a fraud thing they're doing there is the study of the program also that they will not do campus placements at the moment but in the future they might do the program and i don't have any problem with that because i can discover the opportunities with me my capabilities and what i know for me right but 
it does affect so the people who are coming from my country like india you know in india there's a trend that every university has this amount of placements this amount of percent of people you know getting being placed in top notch companies but here it's not the case they don't do any job placements second of all if i talk about my money's worth then my money is worth it yes i feel the reason i tell you now because when i came in 2022 january i started my program in that month and i paid Seventeen thousand five hundred and fifty dollars for my first year's fees, okay? And I also got a scholarship of ten thousand dollars for academic excellence, which right now is like around four or five thousand dollars. So they have they are reducing the scholarship that they used to give in initial years because they wanted that exposure, they wanted that name in the market. That's why people like me came to the university and took the advantage, you know. So you can see my total MBS cost was around like thirty-seven thousand. I got a ten thousand scholarship to straight reduce that twenty seven thousand. In twenty seven thousand, I had my GIC and I was using my GIC for my fees. So ten thousand minus that is like seventeen thousand, right? And the seventeen thousand I paid. So basically, I paid zero amount from my pocket. <laughs> and that is the reality. And it is worth. It was worth it for me. It is worth it for me still now. But for you guys, you have to make your mind because right now I can see they have uh, rose their fees also around forty thousand, and they are not providing scholarships also. So for the new students who are coming right now, they have to be very, very, very secure of the thing that they will get the job. And first of all, like Indian students like us, arrange the fees themselves so they cannot burden parents or maybe take more loans. So I can get that, but it's kind of hard in this recession, in this economy, for you guys. So I would say. Make your mind according to you, and I cannot say according to you that this is worth it. That is, this is not. It depends on the case scenario, how good you are, right? But for me, it was definitely worth it, and it's still worth it. I'm still enjoying, you know. I got my work permit three years, and I can still apply anywhere. I can get any a skill that I want, you know. And let me divide this topic in pros and cons of university analysis. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about the pros, right? So pro number one, MBA in cheap. That is the motto of University of Canada West, and how they are selling their MBA. Literally, without GRE, without GMAT, if any institute is providing you MBA, it's University of Canada West or Thompson's Reverse University, which I would say is better than UCW. By the way, review would be coming soon of Thompson University University. Second pro that I would like to talk about is. The university is situated right near downtown, so the employers could know. Okay, this is kind of university that is uh, you know teaching these kind of skills, is doing MBAs, teaching MBAs and all the things. So they would know, and the value would be higher there. Plus, if you will live in downtown, if you will study in downtown, the chances are you'll stay there, right, in Vancouver area. Pro number three that I would like to talk about is that masters give you a good amount of points in your PR journey. Because if you come here, if you do a diploma, that would be considered a certification diploma. But this is like a proper master's degree. So if I would apply for my PR with this degree, I would get a bigger advantage in point system. Pro number fourth, MBA sounds fancy. MBA is a fancy degree. MBA was a fancy degree, and MBA will be a fancy degree. You should admit or not, but I would say that if anyone that hears, oh, you've done master's in business, they you know initially think of you as a very scholar person. However, you're not. This. Will help you in getting jobs, but once you uh, say from where, from where you've done your masters? Oh, you know, see at West. I didn't hear that. You see blue. Oh, what what? UBC? It's like cheap UBC. <laughs> Grow up. Now let's talk about cons. So first con is that their professors is a joke. They are a joke. Their faculty is a joke, and they are still a joke. I would say because the reason is that I did have a lot of instances with professors that does not. Wanna teach? Like these were instances. Like there was this professor we were right in the class, and he just went by to pick his relatives from the airport. Like Tata, goodbye. How? What kind of behavior is this? So their management is still working on that because there are a new university. These universities need time to be recognized, and they should have a better filtration system of their faculty. So I would say they need to work on that. But right now they're not good in that. Con number two: no campus life. Campus is just small, is tight as it could be because it, it's situated right in downtown Vancouver, and right now you know how the prices of properties are in Vancouver. So it's high rise, and there is no campus life. There is no playground. There is no gym. There is no swimming pool. There is no anything. You know, nothing. So campus is just like this. When you enter, it just ends. वो बोलते हैं भाई ये तो आते ही खत्म हो गया। भाई ये तो शुरू होते ही खत्म हो गया है। 
And now I would like to give recommendations for the coming students who are coming to UCLU. First is that choose your faculty very carefully. There are many websites that you can check, rate my professor, you know, and uh, that can help you with choosing your professor. Second is that I would like to say participate in many events that you can in UCLU that is happening. UCLU is really good at this. I would say that they organize this, you know, they have their weekly newsletter that they publish and give you email regarding that. So this is very helpful. Join as much as you can. It will help you to nourish your communication skills and build your relationships with people if you're new in Canada. My second recommendation would be don't chase money over your studies if you are on study permit. Because I would say that there was a time where I chose money over some kind of exposure. Like for example, there was this NBA games going on and I didn't participate in that. I didn't participate because I couldn't commit that much, that much hours, but I did consider on the money thing. So I would say don't do that mistake, focus on your studies, focus on your work. Do work only if you can survive, if you can make your living. Don't go for, you know, expensive things, expensive cars, expensive phones here, expensive laptops. This is, you'll get that. I'll give you a word. You'll get all the things that you wanted after your study permit expires, after you applied your work, after you get a good job, you'll get everything that you want. This country gives you everything but it's the timing that matters. So I would recommend you not to do overtime of work, focus on your assignments, focus on your studies and focus on your network, focus on your practical soft skills. Don't try to be like a backbencher, you know, who doesn't talk to anyone. Sit on the first bench, explain yourself and be a confident person like me because I was that person. My most of my professors remember me because I speak. I speak in front of the camera. You know me because I speak, you know? That is how you remember me. So don't be that person who cannot sell himself. You in this to today's market, everyone needs to do marketing, right? Everyone needs to sell themselves. You know how you can sell yourself to employer that matters. If I can talk to good, I can convince my employers. But if you cannot talk good, how you can just sit in front of an employer and cannot talk any shit. But in the last, I would say that university and university is improving themselves and they would keep improving because it's a new university. Whenever something new happens, we have to understand that they, these uh, this university has not been running up since like 20, 30, 40 years, you know, if you compare to UBC, University of Toronto, you know, you're getting the money, you're getting the same services for, for the money. And I know right now these guys are ripping us because we are paying like five times high year than the domestic students. But still, I'd say that UCW is okay, okay, you know. And if you talk about me, so right now I didn't get any particular full-time job in my field. However, I'm still looking for that. But right now you can see the market is not bad. I'm still not getting any particular jobs in my field, but I'm still hopeful and optimistic for the future. And I still get that if you want any, if you want any update from my side, but I still didn't get any job right now. If you're someone who's planning to come to Canada or is in any process regarding that, do contact me on Instagram. My bio is there or maybe my link will be in the comment section. I'll help you guys with your onboarding process. Anything that you guys require, any knowledge, do contact me. Now that's a wrap folks. I hope this video was informative and I covered all of your topics. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos. And if you want to use them too, it's going to be here and anything. And stay tuned for new upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Have a great night.